for all my people who claim that every black person in the Americas are indigenous to America. I don't I do not disagree that when the first Europeans came to America, they met with black people that we were already here. And there's a process to how we were already here. But it is your shame that you feel about the transatlantic slave trade. What you should realize is that our history does not start with the transatlantic slave trade. Our history as far as black people in America, we can talk about the crossing of the Bering Strait. Now don't try to use Pangea because no black person was around, no person was around when Pangea was uh, formed. That was four million, 400, four million years ago. People didn't exist on this planet four million years ago. That would mean that we survived through the dinosaurs and that shit just didn't happen. But anyway, there are many migrations that we can prove from Africa. But one thing we can also prove from Africa is trading with the indigenous people prior to the Europeans ever coming here. In the same way that the word Ghana means gold, when the Europeans got here, they found that the word Ghana or Ghanin or Ghanan, which was the same verbiage used to describe gold and that they said that they had been trading with black people who came over there. And that's why the spear tips and all those things look exactly the same and made from the same gold that came out of Ghana. Now, as far as this right here, one of the biggest discussions is where are the slave ships? Why aren't there any slave ships? Well, here's the thing. Over 35,000 voyages were made during the time, the 400 years of the transatlantic slave trade. And a hand, a thou, about a thousand, 500 to 1,000 of those ships crashed, sunk. About a handful of them have been found off the coast of Africa and the coast of America, proving that they were slave ships. Now, people like to point at this one right here and say, how can you get those people on the boats? Well, that ship, the Brooks, was one of the last slave ships that was designed. It was designed in England and Liverpool. It carried up to about 700 slaves. The thing about it is that a few years later, it made 11 voyages, and on their first voyages, packing the ship with 700 slaves, they would lose up over 100 slaves on each voyage. It's not until the latter years in the early 1800s that they started doing less slaves across on that ship, until the ship was deemed unseaworthy, and they were losing a lot of the cargo. But the main thing that happened, if you think critically, is that in 1804, you have the Haitian Revolution. So the slave trade ended in 1808 in the Americas because of the Haitian Revolution and the fear of black people revolting against the white colonists. So if we think critically, that's where that comes from. Now, the biggest thing, where are the slave ships? They were repurposed. Just like if any industry goes away, you repurpose the land, the material, the people, everything.